What's going on? And welcome back to Swerf Outdoors. Today, we are bass fishing, but we're putting a little twist on it. With me, I brought an assortment of vintage bass lures. Now, my grandfather gave these to me a few years back, and I have no idea how old they are, but they're old. They're, I'm saying at least probably the 1980s. You know, a lot of these lures are made out of wood on the crankbaits. The, the uh, lips are made out of metal, so these lures are old, but today we're gonna see if they can withstand the test of time because we're gonna be throwing them in uh, ponds, maybe creeks, but we're just searching for bass today and seeing if we can catch some on these vintage lures. So let's do it. All right, guys, we have made it to spot one. This is Birmingham Country Club, a place that I've been coming to since I was probably 14 years old. Pretty much where I learned to bass fish, so. Gonna be the first spot we try out today. Got the rod with me, we're walking. This place has like four ponds I think we'll fish today, so welcome to the first one right now. Get you there. All right guys, we made it to the first two ponds, and today we're gonna start out with this little top water kind of plopper frog. Really cool bait, it's made out of wood. Super old, like a, <laughs> it's got a metal plate at the front of it. Cool bait, but I think if we have a chance at these fish, this is gonna be one of the best baits to use. Let's get this thing in the water and see if we can catch some fish. All right, everybody. First cast going in with the uh, frog plopper lure. It looks all right. Kind of skips across. All right, here we go. This is a deadly cast right here, son. Oh, dude, oh, dude, oh, dude, 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 we're on, let's go. Dude, that was so cool. On the top water. Oh, he just shook it, bro. That was awesome. <laughs> And that is why we topwater fish, dude. That is why we topwater fish right there. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was really cool. Okay, we got to get this bait back in the water. Um, that one, I don't know what happened. He just, he, he jumped in and shook it, but we're going to get this frog back in the water, so stay tuned. Here we go. This is a good spot, I like it. Oh, dude, we got one, we got one, we got one, we got one. All right, we can't lose this one, we can't lose this one. We're going, just get him in, get him in, get him in. Dude, let's stinking go. Bass on the freaking vintage top water. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna show them to you guys. Check it out, guys. Small bass, but look, choked the the uh, vintage bass lure. Super, super cool. So we missed the first one. First one was probably around the size two, but man, feeling these fish, they're warm. This water may it may be a little chilly outside. But this water's warm. They're fired up for that top water bite. So let's get this guy back in. All right guys, we just let that fish go, swam off just fine. Let's get this lure back in the water. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Biggest fish of the day. Big fish, big fish, big fish. Big fish. <laughs> Dude, biggest fish out of this pond. Holy cow. Oh my God, dude, check this out. Guys, check out this fish. This fish has, this fish has the potential to be a five pound bass. Mouth is huge, but man, is it skinny. Like I said, these fish just are, they, there's just no bait in here. Like I said, these, Golf course bass can kind of be neglected a little bit, but that is a tanker on the vintage frog lure. Let's get this big girl back. Look at those lips. 
the top red. You can tell she's been, looks like she might have been eating like crawdads or who knows what. Okay, some minnows on the bottom, I don't know, but let's get this hook out and get this big and back. And she's gone. fish might have been like two and a half pounds maybe three huge head though just super skinny just not eating enough but I, I'm satisfied with that so we're gonna go to another pond and maybe try on a new lure I will throw this topwater a little bit more and then we got to mix things up a little bit because we're having some success on this topwater lure so we'll see y'all at the next spot all right we are at spot number two um, I want to I want to continue to use that frog just while it's still early morning and I think we can hopefully continue this topwater bite and then if I don't get anything like that I'll switch to one of these vintage crankbaits but for now uh, this water is super super clear like really clear so we'll see how that affects anything but uh, let's get tied on and go fishing all right guys throwing the frog once more see if we can't now this pond's really clear and I think it gets fished a lot, lot more. So, not really sure how this is going to go, but we'll see if we can get something to... Oh my gosh, dude, wow. I was literally just talking about how this pond might not be great. <laughs> First cast. First cast. See if, we, see if it hits it again. Someone just tapped it. Bluegill, maybe. Tons of aquatic grass in here. Place for these fish to hide. Oh my gosh. I'm on, boys. I'm on. No one cares about aquatic grass. We're catching bass, son. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, dude, this one right towards me. Get him up here. Let's go, son. Beast on the topwater frog. That's awesome. That is awesome. Another bass for y'all. On the vintage lure, I kind of doubted him at first. She paid off. Choked it. All right, let's get this one back. All right, guys, here we go. Bye, Big Bertha. Oh, gone. That's how it's done. I'm gonna continue to work the perimeter of this pond and then I guess we'll switch the lures then if we don't catch anything else. We're continuing. That's three fish on the board on the top water vintage frog. Pretty cool. So this is where we got a bite on the first cast. Let's see if we can hit it again. They're so over, sometimes some of these fish are so overfished they will not bite anything. I mean, I've thrown everything and anything at these fish. But if you throw a little bluegill, live bluegill or live something at them, they might eat. So I kind of I kind of want to fish this place with light. Oh my gosh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, he yanked, I didn't even set the hook. He just took that thing underwater. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is awesome, dude. Dude, this is this is a crazy day, man. Smallest fish of the day, <laughs> but he choked the uh, the uh, vintage frog. He took this rod out of my hand almost. I mean, usually they pop it and you set the hook, but this thing just about took the rod out. I didn't have to set the hook. He was a hungry fish. Let's get this guy back. All right, guys, we are making the switch to a new lure. We've been using top water. It's getting a little later in the day. So now we're switching to a vintage crankbait. And guys, this thing is pretty funny looking, to be honest. I mean, 
this is an old lure and at first I literally thought it was a decoration but I mean it has real hooks on it so let's make sure this thing swims before we even use it because I'm still not 100% it's not a decoration but it's old it's vintage cool looking lure so let's see what happens all right it looks okay in the water I mean it twitches a little bit and it uh you know it has the crank motion so it's definitely not a, a decoration it has real hooks on it and it moves decent through the water so not the best but we're gonna put this bad boy to work and uh see what happens all right guys it is time to toss this new lure into the pond now this lure i'm not gonna lie a little skeptical about but we'll see what happens i mean it kind of looks like a an injured it really does look like an injured fish okay this thing looks pretty good in the water guys i'm not gonna lie while these guys are golfing i just want to toss it in this creek oh my gosh a warm uh, a green sunfish oh my gosh dude a green sunfish no way he choked it dude he choked it all right guys these were these guys were golfing so i was just staying out of their way look at that green sunfish on the vintage lure second cast i was trying to get out of the way of these guys golfing so i just threw it in this creek not really expecting anything but green uh or it's a green sunfish i think yeah i'm pretty sure what it is super cool fish but he bit the, he bit the uh antique lure and not only did he eat it i mean he he chunked it he's got two hooks in his mouth so Super cool, we're gonna let this guy go and see if we can't catch a bass now. Oh, 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 we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on! <laughs> Dude, we did it! We did it! Guys, I made it happen. I made it happen, guys. It's a dink, but man, he, he, ate the, he ate the vintage crankbait. That is so cool. That is awesome. I was really losing hope with this thing. I cast a lot after I caught that green sunfish and nothing, but he ate it right at the bank, so that's so awesome. So let's get this guy back and see if we can catch, catch at least one more. Yeah, that's a day, y'all. That was a, a, I mean, it's not even 12 o'clock. It's getting kind of busy out here, so I, I kind of got to get out of here because I can't really fish without golfers possibly taking my head off with a golf ball. So it's kind of scary, but I mean, these, we, we caught six bass, I think, and one green sunfish, all on probably 30, 40, maybe even 50 year old lures. So, I mean, look, first, first look at these lures, I was not very hopeful, but I mean, that, that top water destroyed it. And that crankbait, like I said, that looks pretty good in the water too, so. Um, thank y'all for watching. If y'all wanna see, obviously, the fish is turning on here in Alabama. It's March, water's warming up, fish are spawning, so the fishing is turning on, so there will be many, many more fishing videos in the future. Comment what y'all wanna see. I love doing fly fishing, regular fishing, bass fishing, any fishing. Comment what y'all wanna see. I'm down to do more challenges. I love doing stuff like this, so. Comment what y'all want to see. Please like and subscribe. I want to do this as much as I can. I can film on the weekends, but I got to work a little bit also, of course. So I want to be able to do this full time. So like and subscribe, support the channel, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure of Swerf Outdoors. Catch y'all later.